in honor of Black History Month, wanted to give you a chance to, to talk about what, what's on your mind, what's on your heart. I think, you know, Black History Month is important. It's American history. And for me, I didn't have to read a lot of books to get it. Uh, my dad was one of the first um, African-Americans to integrate the U.S. Army as a drill sergeant. So he didn't call me. I didn't have a chance for my, for my mom to call me. and give My dad didn't call me to give me wisdom. He called me to just set me straight. And my mom called me to cuss me out if I played bad. So <laughs> I didn't have that from, from my mom. She was like, hey, what, you know, I can't even repeat it. But my dad always taught me to be proud of it, to understand my responsibilities. And then my godfather also, who is Jewish, taught me, you know, the power of progressive social issues when he marched with Martin Luther King and he was in a room before they have a dream speech and he told me how Martin Luther King came out you know on the, on the march of uh, Washington Monument and gave the wrong speech and he switched in the middle of speech to be I have a dream speech and he told me the the power of making mistakes but correcting them and having a platform to uplift everyone through your mistakes and when you talk about everything that goes along with it in UCLA and what Coach Wooden did for you know African-American basketball players and winning his first championship in Kansas City at Municipal Auditorium um, and, you know, NAACP wanted him to win it to talk about his players not being able to stay in the hotels together for integration, but they were segregated. Everything comes into play. And when you play at UCLA, you have this untold and unspoken responsibility to push the envelope further with black history unification, because black history and American history is not done by just blacks. It's done by unifying voices and together coming together for a better righteous cause. And that's just compassion and mindfulness. And I've heard you talk about that. When you go to UCLA, there is this unspoken sort of expectation for athletes to push the envelope and to keep building uh, for all the people who came before them, all the incredible black student athletes who came before them. Yeah, you talk about professional sports, you talk about professional players, you talk about Arthur Ashe, Jackie Robinson, Lou Alcindor, who became you know, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, but, you know, at the same time, we understand we are the voices of our community. We want more African-Americans to have acceptance into universities, especially like at UCLA. We want more African-Americans to have a voice, and we understand that it's a, it's a pace that we have to push that. And you look at all of our players in the Pac-12 conference of today, they are remarkable, and they have their place in history for their voices.